you know, life is about always looking for something better than you have now. And television's no exception. In this case, better means pictures which are more like real life. And we can do this in several ways. One is to add more detail, more definition to the picture. The other is to use 3D. But we can also increase the number of pictures per second we see. How does this work? Let's go back to the building blocks. Television is a series of consecutive images. And the more there are per second, the better. This is a still picture, so if you like, it's zero images per second. Now let's have a look at two images per second. It's better. Five images per second. It's better. Ten images per second. Better. 25 images per second, it's looking pretty good. And you know, in television, we also use 50 and 60. So you may wonder why we might want to increase the number of pictures per second beyond these kind of values. There are good reasons. So the first reason for more pictures per second may be to improve what we may call the look of reality. When we look at a real object, our mind takes pictures at a rate which changes. And the light entering our eye is actually a continuous stream, so that whenever our mind wants a picture, it's ready and waiting to be grabbed. Now, if we increase the number of images per second in a television system, we get closer and closer to that situation, that whenever our mind wants a picture, it's there. And this is why increasing the picture rate makes the pictures look like more real life, because it makes the image stream look more like a continuous stream. Now, there is a second reason for increasing the number of images per second, and we may call this improving the way movement is seen in television. Now, we can create movement in a scene very simply just by panning a camera across a scene. When you do this, you'll see that there is judder in the pictures. This is because we simply don't have enough pictures to make the motion go smoothly. And here's another way to show you how number of pictures per second affects the movement that we see on television. Have a look at this bicycle wheel. Now, if I turn the wheel very slowly, you'll see things exactly as I do, with the spokes moving round. But if I go a little bit faster, well, for you, the spokes are going to be more blurred than they are for me. And then if I go really fast, for you, the spokes are going to appear to move backwards. All of these things, the blurring and the backward movement, can be helped by having a higher number of pictures per second. So there are two overall ways in which having more pictures per second helps. First of all, by making the movement more natural, and secondly, by making the whole experience better because the light enters your eye in the same way as it does in normal viewing conditions. So, how many pictures per second will we need? Well, 100 and 120 are candidates, and some people are thinking about 300 and 600. But there's a lot of studying to be done, and for the moment, we can only say that the only way is up.